Yeah, it's, it's, it's very frustrating to see professional organizations like the American Medical Association and the related uh, pediatric organizations. It's, it's difficult to watch them just kind of acquiesce, uh, almost as though they feel as though they're under obligation to do the will of the people rather than uh, seek the well-being of their client, their patients, uh, their children. I, I don't, I think that in the United States right now, there is a movement that grew out of conservatism, uh, which is not, the, not that acquainted with the principles of conservatism, but they are in fact fueled by resentment, by grievance, and uh, they have adopted the philosophy of the, of the left which is that power is what you need to strive for. And this is, this is a big problem for Christians who don't believe that power is what ultimately prevails. Uh, we, we believe the logos, rationality, prevails. Uh, the whole universe created by the logos. And so I, I have to say uh, I'm not... America provides a very comfortable home for people, and I think they're reluctant to ever rise up and uh, force change. And in, within professional organizations, you do have people who rise to the top and sometimes can uh, exercise influence. But most recently, we're seeing those who rise to the top are largely conformists. They they. They simply do uh, what they know fits in with their uh, uh, related group. So you, you, won't, you won't find somebody rising up from uh, within the American Psychological Association who will take a stand against uh, uh, gender ideology. You, you, uh, for a while, we had somebody like Dr. Paul McHugh at Johns Hopkins University, who, when Johns Hopkins was a leader in sexual reassignment surgery, and when Dr. McHugh went to Johns Hopkins, he looked it over and said, wait a minute, why are we doing this? And the, the response was, well, we're doing this because these clients presented XYZ problems. And he said, okay, well, did the sexual reassignment surgery actually resolve those presenting problems? And they did a very thorough study and determined that no, uh, while in fact the patients uh, were happy with the sexual reassignment surgery, they did not, the surgeries did not resolve the presenting problems. And so, he, you know, McHugh said, you know, we're not here to do cosmetic surgery for people. I mean, we're here to resolve real problems. So they stopped. And the sad thing is that uh, Johns Hopkins now has gone back and picked up on doing sexual reassignment surgeries after Dr. McHugh's uh, resignation or retirement. He went into retirement. So, you know, you just look at the, why did that happen? It happened because certain um, professionals began to think that this, they wanted to, uh, They believed, they came to believe a falsehood about the nature of the human person. That they believed that the body is ornamental, <laughs> that the body is not an intrinsic part of a person's identity.